Hello friends and welcome to the channel. It's Angela the Traveling Crafter and happy uh, Traveling Crafter and Friends Live Eve. So if you don't know, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, I will be hosting my friends Carol at A Crinkle Path, Carrie the Paper Monkey, Sandy Woolamina, and Hazel at Hazel and Naka Design, and we're going to have a party, and we're going to be working on cake box journals in honor of our friend Carol, who is retiring and celebrating her birthday this month, and has a little uh, giveaway going on, so you'll want to hop over to all of those ladies' channels and make sure that you subscribe and check out Carol's channel to see how you can participate. So in honor of us embarking on tomorrow's event, I thought I would do a really quick run through of how I developed my cover <clears throat> that I will be working on tomorrow. So let me show you this. This is the one we're going to be working on. Uh, and if you're wondering about the Dolly Parton thing, well, Carol's uh, celebration is titled 9 to 5 to 55. And so, you know, who better to celebrate with than the one, the only Dolly Parton. So this is my cover and my journal that I will be working in. And what I did, let me take this out. I want to show you, I embraced the flippity flap flaps. So these were the box tops. And I decided that I was going to do something similar that we did uh, when I made those pieces to hold um, ephemera and, you know, we attached something, tied it together. So I thought, well, what a perfect way to do that by using this. So I'm going to replicate this sort of ish so that you can see how I did it in case you would like to grab a cake box or a box of any sort and play along. So how are we, what are you going to need? Let's just say you're going to need a cake box. Now this cake box is smaller than the cornbread. The cover is five and a quarter by seven and seven sixteenths. The spine is one and five eighths. That means I need to make my signatures for this five by seven. That way they don't go over here and they kind of tuck right in there nicely. And in this case, the inside cover, this part was five by six and three quarters to seven inches is how big I could go. So that's what I'm starting with. Now you'll have to just adapt based on the box that you choose. This is a pretty small one. By the way, I actually made the Southern style coconut cake. I added real coconut in it. Uh, it was delicious and I used her buttercream frosting. The kids loved it. My husband loved it. So I even had it, had some and loved it and I don't eat sweets. So haven't tried the cornbread yet, but you're going to need some fabrics and possibly some trims. I'm going to use this on the sides. I did do, <clears throat> I'm embracing this uh, blue on here. And the reason I didn't, this is the first one I cut up, obviously, because I made the cake. And I wanted to stick with the orange, the yellow, the pinks on uh, the one that I was doing. So I put this one aside and landed on the other one. But I did make some, uh, what do you call these? Oh, ties for this one. And I just used some gingham. And then I just have some random ones that I think we might use for the spine. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. What else would you possibly need? Well, keep the, keep the other piece of the spine where you opened it. Because we might use this later at some point. I don't know. Um, I have the string that I am using to tie those flaps together. I am using uh, 3M, oh, I always forget what these are called. Mm, I can't remember, but uh, they come with this little sticky thing. And that is so that I can, um, they have little teeth in there and then you just stick this in there and wrap it around. But you could use uh, hole reinforcers or a button or whatever you choose. That's just what I have and I like to use. Uh, I have my, I am going to do inside flaps like I did on the other one. So I have four envelopes and that just happens to match perfectly. So we got those. 
I have, these are wall, this is wallpaper. And I'll tell you the sizes that I cut these down to, but these are for the flaps. And then I have my piece of paper that is, let's see, 12 by seven, which would be correct. So what I did is I cut it down to 12 by seven, and then I took my, once I cut it down to 12 by seven, I took my paper, popped it in here, and I kind of marked, you can kind of see the mark, right where it is going to fold. So then I scored it, and this particular um, spine is, what did I say? One and five eighths. So I just scored on either side of that so that it would fold up and not get caught in all of the chaos. Um, anything else? Obviously, you need glue. You'll need scissors. Possibly the scoreboard if you choose to do it like I did. So I think that that's it. And I'm going to make this fairly, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to try to make this fairly quick. Um, so what you do is, or what I did, is I secured this in a way that's it's going to lay like this. So the first thing that I probably want to do is um, cover these insides. So the wallpaper may be a little bit <clears throat> thick, but we're going to go for it anyway. Um, this is my prototype, so it's fine. Uh, the size of these, I cut these down for this particular box to two and five and a quarter. Now I did my best to get as much gunk off of here as I could. I didn't mess with this because I thought if I, I want to make sure you guys can see me. If I, um, yes, you can. If I started to mess with it, then it was going to get really bumpy. So I just kind of left it. I also initially uh, marked halfway between this so that when I put my ties on, the other one does not have ties. So, all we're going to do is lay these down, and you'll see that they, ha they have an angle. Um, how did I do that? Did I use my... I may have used my scoreboard. Let's just mark it, and we'll use the scoreboard. Okay. <clears throat> Scoreboard, where are you? <clears throat> this is actually very, very easy. And as I was taking it apart, I was like, well, why not try using it? And I'm just lining that up on one of these and folding it. And it happens to be, well, I should have one and a quarter if I go from the edge. Okay. So now I'm just going to fold that one. We're going to do this one at one and a quarter. Ooh, that doesn't look like that's quite right, but weird. I guess it is. Oh yeah, this side's a little bit crooked. One and a quarter. Fold it up. I don't know that I did this last time, but it is wallpaper, and so I want to make sure. Oop, that's the crooked side, too. And one and a quarter. All right. Now maybe we'll be done with this. I don't know. All right. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. So... We are going to use our fabric tack and, and this is getting pretty nasty, gnarly in there, but there's a hole in this, so, and I am not wasting this fabric tack, so. Okay, so I'm just putting it on the flap for the moment. It mine may be a little bit big because I think I did it just a smidgy bigger, which I'm okay with because then I can cut it down. I'd rather have it a little too long than not long enough, right? I'm gonna push that back down. See, this end was not straight. 
probably on the end that I cut it out of the wallpaper book. My guess. Okay, and then you're just going to go like that. And then make sure it's really messy. You just kind of got to, whoa. And that's what the other reason that I'm using the Fabri-Tac. So see this piece right here? When it's dry, I'll cut it off. I'm not going to do it right now. So we'll do that. Did I decide what I was going to do on the outside? I did not. Well, <laughs> oops. I don't have an idea for the top flap yet, which I don't have an idea on the top flap for the other one either. I'm just going to kind of see where the design takes me. I don't think I decided on something for this. I don't know. Okay, and I, what I'm doing is putting this down a little bit and then pushing it up. So, and I'm pushing it farther to this edge than the other one. And then I'm going to do that. Make sure it's nice and flat. Pretty easy so far, isn't it? Flip it over this way, make sure it's laying nice and flat. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Let's turn it this way, though, to be easier. So hope you guys are all having a great day. Let me give you a little catch-up while I'm gluing these other two down, since you saw how I did the others. Uh, let's see. It is January 19th. Like I said, it is the eve of our Traveling Crafter and Friends event live. 4 p.m. on Saturday. And we are going to have a good time. If you've never been to a craft and chat, it is where, uh, it is something that Carrie and Carol and I <clears throat> host. And um, Sandy is so graciously, well, I think graciously, I hope that she <laughs> enjoys it, um, to participate as well. Uh, she's a good sport. So we appreciate that she's a part of this as well and uh we invite a friend to join us and craft along that way we can learn about uh, our friends we can have a good time and it's kind of like a you know a little a little retreat if you will so grab something to work on possibly grab a cake box if you want there's going to be you know so many adaptations about how each of us use our, uh, and what we do with our cake box, that that in itself will be fun. And I mean, that's always the fun part to me. I love to see how other people um, take an idea and um, make it their own. Uh, one of my favorites as of late, and in fact, one that um, our guest is, uh, that did is Hazel recently did a, adaptation of the dress the doll dress form that I did oh my gosh they were so cute I loved them I loved everything about them uh -huh. so you'll have to hop over and check this out now I wanted to point out something that mm, this got a little bit there's a little notch out of it not to worry because we're going to put some lace on that uh I am embracing the fact that I want to keep dolly intact and the southern coconut and i want to keep this duncan hines well maybe not the duncan hines but definitely the cake photo so <clears throat> i am leaving most of that just like i did on the other one uh this is um going to fit right here and the way i did this is i after i scored it i just and i made it just a smidgy smaller a smidgy that's a real measurement I promise um, then where it needed to be top to bottom just so that when I folded these it would not catch if you will oh poo but what I did different on this one hold on I gotta put my I gotta put my strings in here 
Okay, so I want this to be, I need to cut a little bit of this off because I don't want too much bulk. So let's just, I'll use that for something else. Yikes, I almost forgot. And we really want that to be good. Oh, I need to, I got a little carried away on that. Okay. And I want the pink to stay out. So now we're going to do that. Okay. And then we're going to take this and we're going to make sure that it's butted up as close to the edge as we can get. Now let me make sure. I'm just kind of moving that a little bit. Okay, let's push this down. And then get it as close to the side as we can. Now, is it going to be perfect? Probably not. That's okay. Like I said, well, maybe I didn't say this, but it's a junk journal, right? And we're using a cake box, for goodness sake. Okay, do these still fold? Yes. Does this still fold? Yes. And I'll push this down really good later. The important part is <clears throat> lay these flat while they dry. And then when they are dry, you can use your um, bone folder to get them down there really good. Okay, let's, before we forget, because you know I will, I need to cut this one down. Now, this, I had two pieces together, so... I did mark it. So let's start with that. <gasps> Shoot! I forgot something, friends. I forgot, I forgot. Hang on. That can't go on here. Hold the phone, hold the phone. I'm looking over here and I'm like, <gasps> okay, let's get this up really fast before this dries. Come on. Come to mama. Yowza. <clears throat> Crisis averted. All right. What I want to have happen is I want these to be pretty. That's not too shabby. I want these to go inside of here. So I do need, I just need to see how this goes. Okay. So that can go back on there. This in here. Goodness, this is going to be a gluey mess. But we want to make sure that's really glued on there. Okay. And then I want to make sure that these two go over here. So let me move this up for a second. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. I'm just holding that where it is in place. And I'm making sure that this all lays down. And then I'm going to put this in here. All of this is going to get glued. Goodness gracious. So these little things flap out. Now, what I found when I did this the last time on the other one is that it did get pushed out a little bit, so I'm going to try my best to get this lined up before I... Okay. I'm going to just do some extra glue here because I've lifted this up so many times. <sighs> you guys saw what I did it this way. Um, this is a real good example of do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> of course this went easy peasy when I did the first one. Okay. There we go. 
Now I can get this down here. Now let's just, for the sake of not messing this up, let's do what we need to do here. get that to kind of sit a little bit and then we'll do this in the other okay so again oh gosh yeah we're good all right so I want this the same way pretty good pretty good <clears throat> And we're going to glue this on here. And get that down. And then we'll wait. When we're ready. We'll glue that down this way. No forgetting. Okay, next step. Let's make sure that this still, yep, it's still... folds just fine. Uh, okay, so <laughs> let's see. Okay, maybe that was my problem. I was talking while I was trying to do this. Uh, so that is happening tomorrow. Remember that if you uh, have not had a chance to come to one of uh, Carol and Sandy and I's live sales, those are on every Thursday except the first Thursday of the month at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I am telling you, I've got some really good goodies um, coming up in the new year. So, uh, and I know Carol does too. Um, we've had a few weeks off because of the holidays to get our ducks in a row. Um, so you won't want to miss that. Uh, Carol is doing her drawing for her giveaway on the, I believe the 27th of January. And uh, so you'll want to make sure you hop over there. Uh, let's see. Hazel is working on a blush journal start to finish. Uh, Carrie is uh, working on some Nurse Nancy journals, but she is also, uh, she also does her vision board each month. And if you haven't seen that, you want to stop by and check that out too. And uh, Sandy, oh, Sandy, wow. She gets some amazing, amazing finds um, and brings those to the maker's market. Um, and so she does a lot of flip throughs of those. She does flip throughs of her um, own journals that she's finished. Okay, I got to pay attention just... I need to turn this. Making sure. Ah. This is going to go down. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so she showcases what she's putting on the maker's market. Uh, Kate, Hazel, Carol, and... Um, Sandy all have um, shops on the maker's market and I don't know, I mean, wait for it, but there's a chance that our friend Carrie may too, because she's got some skills and some talents and some unique things that I think that others will want. Um, a couple of things, if you use the code that's in the description um, and it says crafter or just type that in on your discount code on the, on the maker's market, uh, you get $5 off your first purchase. So uh, there is that. And then we are going to be doing some incentives for, we have a team planning meeting. Okay, everything is down. It looks like I did a better job on getting those envelopes in there that I did last time. Now I'm going to just cut these off. Um, to uh, invite new makers to the market. And our one of our goals for the year is to <clears throat> diversify some of the items uh, to make it more appealing to crafters of all kinds. So if you know somebody that makes, uh, I'm just throwing things out there, candles, crochet, quilts, 
uh, macrame, I don't know, I just, woodworking, whatever it might be, if someone is an artist, watercolors, um, any kind of painting, um, I would encourage you guys to invite them to come over to the Maker's Market and apply to be a seller, and we would love to showcase their work. And the cool part about the Maker's Market, okay, I'm going to start with this side because I don't want, just in case it's not fully dry on the other side. Um, it's more than just a place for you to buy and sell things. It is really, truly a community. We are doing our first uh, virtual retreat and, you know, space is limited and we'll announce all of that on the Maker's Market. So, um, to get a seat, you'll want to make sure you go over and join us and just, um, all you have to do is just join the Traveling Crafter Maker's Market. That's all there is to it. Uh, and we're just going to spend a day crafting. I believe that is February. Let me see. I've got it written down. February 10th. February 10th. So that is something that's coming up too. But there's, I mean, it's a good place for you. If you've got questions, um, you know, whether you're doing a journal or making a DIY project or whatever it is, you can, you know, give a shout out and say, hey, has anybody ever done this? And there are different tabs for community, for, um, um, for sellers, for seller resources, for show and tells. If you've got things that you want, all I'm doing is just giving this a good, just so it moves, moves well. Um, you know, you can show what you're working on, which I love. I, I, that's one thing I really want more people to, um, to do more of. Okay. There we go. Now I still need to decide what I want to do on these outsides. And I'm thinking, do I care to do them now. Oh, I did do these. I did. Look at that. Okay, what size did I make these? One and a quarter by five and three eighths. Well, look at me go. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this under here so it doesn't get icky. Um, I hope this works okay. But yeah, that is one thing. It's a nice, you know, instead of having to have like, go to each person's Facebook page to see things or Instagram, um, we can all share right, right there on the maker's market and um, ask questions, look for help. I will be doing some... Um, some uh, courses for buyers or uh, buyers for sellers and not I don't think any of us probably need to know how to spend money do we I mean I do pretty well on it uh <clears throat> for sellers that are new we do an onboarding every month if somebody uh you know wants to sell live one of the things that we can do on the maker's market that's a little bit different is we can do a live sale just there uh so we're we will be testing that out in 2024. Um, they've been making new enhancements that make it a lot more fun and a lot more fun for more than, uh, for a lot of people to participate on one live. Isn't that cool? So that will be upcoming. I'm trying to think what else we got going on in the first quarter of the year. And a special thank you. I did not give a shout out and welcome you all. But first of all, um, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already to this channel as well as the other ladies that I mentioned. But I also wanted to give a shout out to all of you um, who have purchased on the Maker's Market uh, from not only me, but from others. Because, you know, it just it just makes, makes my day. We have um, a gal that sells bath, um, body scrubs and, uh, 
body butters kind of thing and lip gloss. I got some of those for Christmas stocking stuffers. Love them. Her name is Saki if you want to look her up. And um, a lot of craft supplies folks have sold. Um, a lot of the folks that you probably or may watch uh, have a store over there. So definitely go check, check them out. Uh, Sarah from New England Junk Journals. Sierra from Cooley Craft Corner. Candace from Candy King Creates. Candace, it has not uh, uploaded anything yet, but she has been approved as a maker, and she's start she's starting in the new year. You know, everybody just do it when when you can. Um, I think I have we have somebody. I think we have a quilt maker. I'm not sure when she's going to start. She was starting in the new year, but um, just a whole bunch of curators of beautiful crafts and arts. So I should not do this with my nails. Oh, while I'm finishing this up, let me tell you about my nails. I'll probably talk about this on my live because I've been testing this out for a couple weeks. So I know first world problems, right? Uh, but I know a lot of you who like to have pretty nails often um, have some troubles when you're using different glues that, you know, if you're painting your own nails, it, it pulls off your polish and this, that, and the next thing. Well, my issue is not that. I haven't had that problem, but the problem I have is I have no patience and I don't like to go to the salon. So for many years, I've been looking for an alternative. And during the pandemic, Demi and I, uh, I had the UV light. So we tried some different products to do our own manicures. Eh, they didn't work very well. However, I am going to, and this is not sponsored. However, if you want to sponsor me, Sensational Sensation Nail, <laughs> I'd be happy to have you do so because uh, I love your products. But um, there we go. We're all, we're all good. All right. There is a product. Now you can buy it on, I should... Here, I'll write myself a note right now. Sensation Nail on, on my Amazon store. And I need to also um, tag the girls. Because if I don't write that down, I'll forget that too. So I, I, you can get it on Amazon. You can also, a lot of places you can get it on or get it at Walmart. But it is called Sensation Nail. It's what I have on my nails right now. It is a gel product. They do sell the whole kit with the UV light and everything. So I bought it and I tested two rounds. So fresh from, you know, what do I want to say? Bare nails to, um, we're going to put this on, I think. And then um, taking it off and then putting on uh, a new one. And now this is the, this round is round number three. Loved it. Loved it so much. Um, I bought my 16 year old niece, the, um, entire kit with some extra polish for Christmas. And she said, this is one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. She did it. She sent me a picture of her nails and they looked like she had been to the salon. So it's not only, um, a great product. It's easy to do. Um, I mean, of course, you know, the salon would do, see like that. My nail, I should have probably cut my nails down, but I was like, eh, it's fine. So she loves it. And then I did Demi's and I did both her toes and she did her fingers and those turned out great. And she's had her toenail polish on for over two weeks. So if you're looking for a brand to try. I will leave the link in that you can get them on, get them on Amazon and the name so you can, you don't have to remember. Uh, but I am a huge, huge uh, convert and I don't know that I'll ever go back and get my nails done if I don't have to because I don't like to sit there and wait. I hate it. Um, I always think, oh, there's so many other things I could be doing. I know you're probably like, why don't you just sit there and relax? 
I don't mind getting my toes done because then I have my hands free and I can do whatever, but ugh, I hate getting my nails done. Now, you're probably saying, well, how long does it take you to do it, Angela? If you're, you know, it takes an hour at the salon. Well, it takes me, I've got it down to about uh, 35 to 45 minutes doing it myself. So I do save a little bit of time. Okay, so we've got everything together um, there. I'm trying to think. Let's do the little, let's put these on first. Because we'll want them to get really now. I need to measure. Okay, we're just going to call it. I'm going to call it two and five eighths. I think that's about right. I can't this. There we go. Two and five eighths. Oh, that's two and a half. Is that right? Did I just mark on that? Oh my gosh. I'm losing my mind. That is not right. What's that end up being? Yeah, I didn't do it right. <laughs> Oh boy. There we go. That's good. Two and five eighths, not one and five eighths. Are you screaming at me? You are my. Can you land it in there, jamming? All right. Goodness gracious. All right, the first thing we're going to do is peel this back. And we're going to grab one of these. But I'm going to double it up. And what I do is just put these on here. Kind of squish them on to the... I know you can't probably see that. And then peel them off. go and then I'm going to put a dab of glue where I want it I hope that's not so loud that you can hear it and I get demonetized <laughs> let's just hope not okay that came off Man, this glue top is sticky. Need to clean it off after this. I'm just gonna hold it for a second while it grabs. <gasps> Whoopsie. Mm. It's a little slickery on that um, wallpaper. All right, here's this one. Here, why don't we do this one while we're waiting? Okay. Pretty easy peasy. Oops. All right. Well, this is going to be all ready for me to do. Um... I did tell you for this five by seven for the cover, the signatures need to be five by seven, so ten by seven. If you're doing a full signature. You could also do it Midori style. Put holes in. Maybe I'll do that on this one. I like me a Midori style journal. Midori style, all that means is that you're punching a hole here, and punching a hole here, putting some kind of elastic. 
through it of any sort. And then you can slide your signatures in, slide them out, and change it. So you keep the cover's integrity, but say you fill the journal. That's cute. I'm going to have this pink one. It's really, really dry. I'll add that on. Maybe by the time we do the spine, it will be. Let's hope that this doesn't... I think we're okay. All right, so what I decided for the spine is going to be really simple. And I'm just going to take... I've done this before. Oh, look at that one has... Maybe I'll leave that on there. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I like this idea. All right, hang on. I don't know. It's different. Nope, not that way. Come on. I'm going to cut this like a that. And then we can go back and forth with these. So what do I have? I've got, whoops. I don't have a ton of... I didn't have a ton of blue that really matched, so we'll just go here. I got this, too. I mean, I could use that. Maybe if we need it. We got scraps. Those are from the tie. Uh, let's see. Let's just cut a few of these. And... All right, let's do this one like that, just to add a little, goodness. I do like that. All right, let's use this one. And we're about ready to wrap it up. I don't know that we're gonna have time to do I don't know if it'll be dry enough to put those on <clears throat> maybe whoops I don't really love this color blue that much but it's what I had so we're just gonna roll with it And do this again. I'll do it this way. On this one. And I want it back there. So let's do this one the same way. Trying to decide. I want it to be, well, that's not really going to, I need to have it farther over here. Okay. We got this blue. Let's make this one a little thinner. This kind of looks like a little Florida Lisa. Florida Lee. One more pink over here that I think we can do that one this way just to add a little bit of something some oh yeah that'll work just want to make sure that it's gonna cover it and then maybe on this piece that has a little more of the darker pink on it maybe we can do a couple pieces that are just mm, let's go this way like that there we 
go. Let's make it a little bit higher. And go up there. And go there. Kind of like, you know, her song, The Coat of Many Colors, kind of a little homage to. All right, let's just go for it. To her song. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this one needs something else, but we're just going to go. And we're going to start by just doing this part. So the cornbread that I made, or that I haven't made, I took it, took the bag out, wrote all the directions on it, and there's a special uh, recipe for cornbread, or uh, jalapeno cornbread that has cheddar cheese in it and um, just cheddar cheese and jalapenos. It looked pretty darn good. So maybe I'll make that. All I'm doing is getting this down here first. I think this needs to be broke up a little bit too. So I'm gonna put this across it. We can always add more pieces, right? Now you could, if you wished, could sew around this. I decided not to. Okay. Oh, I don't, I'm going to have to, I'm going to put this right down next to it because I don't want that floor to Lee to get hidden. I don't want a ton of this to show on this side. I want most of it to be on the back. Because <clears throat> I want to honor the cake mix, for goodness sake. All right, so all I'm doing is just putting the spine part on. Do I still like this that, there? Sure. There we go. I'm going to have to leave this and let it fit. Yeah, see, I think this needs to be on there. Well, perfect. So I hope that um, you enjoyed this. Please ask any questions that I might not have answered in the comments. And again, I will invite you to subscribe if you haven't. And certainly invite you to join all of the fun in the Maker's Market and uh, at our live sales and certainly for our crafting chat. All right, so now I, all I'm doing is just adding dobs of glue on one side and here. And that will finish up our video for the day. Yeah, I have not made a journal until I did the last one with um, the flaps on it. So I thought, hmm, it's kind of fun. A little bit different. You think that this is dry and the tabs are dry enough to put a string in yet? I think I started this video by saying this is going to be really quick. Not so much, is it? Now, the one thing I like to do is not get too... Not do push this... What do I have trying to say? Not adhere it too much because I may want to add something, do something different, but then I'm just going to fold it like that 
There it is. Super cute. Now we'll fold it back out. And let's try these snippity snaps. Oh, do not get tangled on me. Oh, I guess I only have... All right, and this is going to be way more than we need, but... All right, so all you do with these... Let's go like that. And then... Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah, they're still not quite dry. I'll just leave it kind of like that and hope to goodness that it stays on, but that's all you do. And I don't know if you can still buy these. What are they called? Let me look before we go. And then I'll say goodbye. And if you can still get them, I will link them. If you can get them on Amazon, I'll link them. Mm. Scotch tie downs is what they're called. By 3M. So there we go. We've got the base for our See, this isn't going to work. I need to take it off of here. I knew that was going to happen. Should have known. Bad move, Angela. Bad move. Got to wait till they're dry. Dang it. Well, that's how they're supposed to go. I'll probably have to do a little surgery on that, but there we go. We are all set. Your little flip flap cake box journal cover. So we'll let that dry. I'll probably have to reinforce it. And until next time, friends, as always, remember to take time to just be, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.